Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Incremental Nova. This is Navi and it's lovely to have you. And today we'll be looking at a very cool piece of Python code that can impress anyone. If you are from a programming background or if you are not from a programming background and you have seen something like this on the internet, something like a digital art or a sketch and ever wondered how people do that and if you would have thought like people actually type those letters and create uh, that kind of art. You are totally wrong. It's very easy to create. I'll show you a way in Python, just using two lines of code, you can create this digital art or sketch to impress anyone. And make sure to stick to end of this video where I will show you few more cool interesting tricks that will be coming in future and I'll give you a glimpse of those. So without wasting any time, let's jump into it. So what for this, if you are from a programming background and if you know Python, I think you would already have PyCharm or something like ID to run your code. If you don't, PyCharm is the ID that I'm going to use and it's really easy to install and configure. First of all, open your terminal, type the command Python dash capital V. This will tell you what version of Python is already running on your machine. Usually MacBooks, they come with Python pre-installed, but that is not necessarily the latest version. So you will have to upgrade the version. Okay, if you don't have PyCharm installed already, make sure to install the community version of PyCharm because PyCharm comes for enterprise edition as well which will cost you money and obviously you don't want to pay money. PyCharm Community Edition comes with all the features. Basically, that will help you to run any kind of program and it is a really great ID. And if you don't want to use PyCharm, you can install Visual Studio Code or Atom or IntelliJ, whatever works with you. You just need an ID where you can execute your code. And if you don't want an ID, you can just type the code in the text file and just execute on the terminal. So let's go through what do you need to run this code? All right, as mentioned, we'll be using PyCharm. So this is PyCharm when you open it. All you have to do is just right click here, new Python file. What you want to name is digital art. You can name it anything. And this is what you will get. You need to install Python WhatKit library. So for that, what you have to do is you'll have to go to Chrome. You can just search for PyWhatKit and this is what you will get. You have to copy this text, just click on this button. It will be copied to your clipboard and just paste it here and just press enter. So this is going to take care of the library installation and everything. Once that is installed, what you have to do is now you have to import py python what kit. So this is, as you can see, this is giving me suggestion of what I want to write. This is something that an ID can help you with and speed up your coding process. That is why I like to use ID. If you don't, and if you're someone who doesn't like to use ID, it is totally fine. But just stating my case, why I use IDs, it speeds up your process. See, I just imported py whatkit. And now I need to write py whatkit dot image to ASCII art. As you can see, this is giving me the method name as well. I'll click on that. Now I need to pass it the image that will create the digital art. So you can create the digital art of anyone. What I like to do is I have already added Obama, President Obama, former President Obama. I want to create his digital art. Let's look at the PNG first. So this is the PNG image of Obama's face. I'm going to create a digital art out of this. So what I'll do, I'll just pass this as one of the file. So obama.png is the file name as you can see it is here. If you don't have this, just go to Google, type Obama PNG file or Obama any picture, just download it, paste it here. Once you have that here, you can just right click and paste. Once you will have that file here, so your digital art will be created in a text file. So let's name it Obama digital art dot txt and this will be a txt file. Okay, so once you have passed the code, something like this, you have passed the file that you want to create a digital art on. You just need to run this. There are three ways to run this program. Now what you have you can do is you can click on run and click on this run digital art. You can right click and click on this run digital art. And the third way is to press Control Shift and R. I like to do that. Once that is done. All right, so as you can see, the 
obama digital art.txt file that is created now once i'll double click on that does it look like obama <laughs> i think so all right let's quickly pass one more thing let's do this for the picture of scarlett johnson so this is the picture of scarlett johnson i am going to create a digital art of her all i need to do is i need to pass the file name which is scarlett all right so once you run this piece of code scarlett digital art dot txt will be created let me open this file side by side so that you can see the difference you can open in finder and in finder i'll just double click on this here is the file here is scarlett johnson's portrait and here it is you see the resemblance hair body this is how easy it is to create a digital art in python you just need to import this library and you just need to use one more method on top of that and just pass the file name and it will create the digital art void so this was like the easiest piece of code that you can use to impress anyone i'm going to post few more videos like this where you don't have to write long piece of code just three four lines of code and it will produce something cool and interesting and if you're interested in knowing more such cool tricks in python with just two or three lines of code I will be posting more videos on those so in the next session we'll see how you can use emojis and create text to emojis so we will do that we will create some cool emojis that you see on your whatsapp or imessage we will create that in python it's very easy just two line of code again in the next video we will see that my purpose with this series is to show you that python or programming is really easy and you can use it to create such cool interesting things which can impress others and you will learn a lot of things as well with that thank you so much if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel see you in the next one and don't forget to exercise today thank you